Deputy President Rigadi Gashago has directed government procurement and supply chain officers to scrutinize, verify and validate all pending bills and clear them within a year. Gashago further urged the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to embed procurement officers as investigators in a bit to ensure fraud cases are fairly prosecuted. Here is Juni Kariso with the details. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa was at the second procurement and supply chain management national dialogue that attracted 1,000 professionals. Gashagwa's clarion call was the need to streamline procurement systems within the government. Our administration is for the rule of law and due process. Those who engage in corruption will be dealt with according to the law, but we will not do witch hunt and victimize people for no reason. He directed state officers to verify, validate, and clear pending bills within a year. Going forward, as an administration, we are insisting that you should in place an order for goods and services without the corresponding availability of exchequer so that we can do away with the issue of pending bills once and for all. If we can cut the human interaction so that we let the system take its course, I can assure you, Excellency, we are going to achieve our dream. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission was urged to embed procurement professionals to aid in investigations. Investigators can only investigate a matter to do with procurement when they understand the whole cycle of procurement. And I'm calling upon the ACC advertise for professionals. Being a dedicated and strengthened disciplinary framework will greatly improve the efficiency and effectiveness of dealing with corruption at an, and unethical practices in procurement without having to take them to court and waste the court time. The professionals have also been urged to exercise inclusivity, particularly for the youth, women and vulnerable groups, as a way of empowering the special interest groups. Authentic market survey and allow a reasonable profit to allow the suppliers and the traders a markup so that they are able to meet their obligations with their financiers and make some little profit to keep life going. But let us not allow a process where people are reaping the public sector. Juni Karisambele from Mombasa County.